The recount process began at 7.30 this morning in Goochland Circuit Court. Two things are at issue. Will McGuire's 374 margin stand? And what does all of this say about the elections process? If it increases uh, believability, credibility of the system for voters generally and candidates, then it's good to have these from time to time. Let people see the process. Let them see how well run it is. And it is well run. Larry Sabato has seen a lot in Virginia politics. Add this to the list. I don't think anybody blames a candidate who's in a very close race and who has spent a lot of money and time. And in Good's case, he's been an incumbent. Uh, so this this obviously was a very big deal to him. The final tally is one thing. People trusting the process is another. What I hope people learn, however it comes out, is that our system has multiple checks and balances. We have arguably the safest and most secure election system in the world. Senator Tim Kaine also knows a thing or two about Virginia elections. It's a little bit of a validator of how good Virginia elections are that recounts tend to only move the total by a few votes. And that tells me that our local you know, boards of elections and state board of elections do a pretty good job of running elections with a high degree of accuracy. In his request for a recount, Good said this primary election may have been rigged. Sabato sees it very differently. People who, uh, who worry about these things are worrying for nothing. There are thousands of legitimate topics to be worried about. This is not one of them. We're keeping a close eye on the recount, and as soon as we know the final numbers, we'll let you know. Live in the newsroom, Kate Nectarline, 29 News at 6.